you guys if you clicked on this video you already know what time it is i started my period today so i wanted to take you guys along through my morning so i started off with the shower and changed it to some very cozy clothes just so i could feel very comfortable and i had to get some water so i could feel refreshed so you see this pink towel you know sometimes when you start your period you know you might just bleed through your pants and this doesn't happen to me very often like rarely does i'd rather just be safe because as you can see i have a white sheet so i'd rather not risk that I love to make sure I have medicine on me at all times, so I have two containers, one for my car and one for my purse, and I just fill it up with Tylenol just so that I can be restocked if I feel any pain throughout the day. Now I'm taking one before I get my day started just so I don't feel any pain, and I'm taking my vitamins. I take woman's multivitamin, apple cider vinegar, and I'm taking these bladder control pills because my bladder, I've been having to pee so much lately, so I'm hoping that this will help strengthen my bladder muscles. I didn't want to eat breakfast but I knew it was good for me too so I'm eating this cinnamon raisin bread just because I don't want to eat anything that's going to make my stomach hurt. I made one right here but I did turn around and eat two because one was just not enough. <laughs> While I was eating, I was watching this podcast, and it was just talking about how your struggle is a setup, so I'm going to put the link in the bio. You guys should really check it out. And I let my dog through the back because I did not feel like going on a walk, so I let her do her thing in the backyard. Now I'm starting to get my face together. I'm just washing my face with the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Cleanser. And this works pretty good on my face. I'm going to do an actual skincare routine video for you guys soon. But I want to invest in Korean products. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. And I wanted to show you guys this emergency kit. It's not really emergency, but just a kit to have on you just with pads and tampons just to carry throughout your purse. I got that from Shein. Hey, you guys. Well, it should be only girls because this is something only girls experience. Unless you're a dude that wants to know how to cater to your girlfriend on her period or learn about her period, you should not be watching this video. <laughs> I wanted to go into more depth of the products that I use while on my cycle and just how I make sure to take care of myself a little better while being on my cycle and you know just tips and things that can help while on my cycle. This video might be cringy for some people or unnecessary but there are a lot of girls who are not really sure how to take care of themselves while on their cycle. Let's start with products. I personally am a tampon girl. I do not like pads. I do not like the feeling of sitting in your own blood. So originally I used this brand, the 100% organic cotton core tampons, but this is a little more on the pricier side. Not really pricey, but about, I don't know, like $10 or so. Recently, I just got the regular like always tampons, which comes with regular light and super. So at nighttime, I will wear like the it, it just depends on your cycle um i will wear tampons to sleep but i always have to wake up in the middle of the night to change it out because as you know you cannot just leave a tampon in all day all night like that's just not good for you so you have to make sure if you're wearing tampons that you change them out frequently like every few hours like really every time you go to the bathroom you should probably be changing them out next for the pads when i do wear pads like it's not that I don't wear pads. It's just like when it's a really flowing, like I just can't do it. But I wear the always ultra thin. I get ultra thin because I don't like to feel all that padding when I'm like, you know, going throughout my day and stuff. I don't like the maxi pads. That's just not my thing. I have a size three. This brand works perfectly fine for me. No complaints. I have the always 
thin panty liners. I normally wear these when I'm wearing a tampon just to feel more secure or you know when your period is getting to the ending phase and it's not really bleeding that much, then that's when you would start to transition to like panty liners instead of tampons. I mean, instead of pads. And I I, I got these from the Dollar Tree. It comes with 20 and they were $1.25 and it's like an actual brand. Also, another thing, I do not get scented anything down there scented nothing body wash for down there i use dove sensitive skin soap that has no scent which means no irritation for pads tampons like you should not be using scents down there because it honestly shouldn't stink and if it stinks then you need to like change your diet or go to the doctor or something because it shouldn't stink if you do wear pads and you are like leaking or whatever i always have baby wipes i have baby wipes either way because when you use the bathroom like use the bathroom i, I personally just don't think tissue is good enough i'm not gonna judge people who don't but i just don't think tissue is good enough so i always have baby wipes and it's really helpful when you're on your period because obviously you're bleeding so you need something that's really gonna clean it up and just help you feel refreshed throughout the day baby wipes is good this is also unscented i get these from target fragrance free baby wipes it works perfectly fine if you can use it on a baby you can use it on your adult body also another thing i experienced over the summer when i was drinking a little more i would have really bad pain leading up to my period like cramps would be terrible and it was from alcohol i would recommend limiting alcohol consumption really overall but especially when you're closer to your period because that makes you your body cramp more because it's shedding more from the walls or I, I don't really know the, the science behind periods that well but I know once I cut that out my periods got way better it was just easier to go through throughout the day another thing and this is religious but I started praying because your periods really can take a toll on you if you don't have the right mindset about it personally when I get my periods I'll be like oh my gosh here we go again because periods aren't fun but I just be asking God to you know take the the pressure and the pain just take it away and just let it be a, a very satisfying experience and it's weird because we experience periods every year of our not of our lives but you know for a long time and it seems like every time it rolls around it's like oh here we go again uh, here we go again and that's how i feel i honestly hate sleeping the first night of my period because it's so uncomfortable also going into that if you do not know how to check for your periods coming this is the best app that i can recommend and it's free it's called flow after you start documenting your periods after a while it'll start to detect when your periods will come and mine has been very very accurate for the longest time so it said my period was starting on the 7th actually it started the 6th but the night time so either way i was anticipating it coming overall it just comes on that exact same day when you first go into the app it goes into details about like how are you feeling today and you can just like update it so that it can keep documentation of that you can also go to like the day of the period it, it'll kind of tell you like what you may experience today so it says like your sex hormones are at their lowest which can make you feel tired and depressed and you know like hormones do make you feel like that i just love this app out of the convenience of it um it's it's really beneficial i actually don't think it's a bad idea to invest into the membership that they have because it just has a lot of like things about pregnancy and how to clean and how to delay or stop like it just has a lot of tips and just things about the body overall i think that is the main tips i wanted to give y'all make sure you're eating more clean closer to your period eating more fruits and vegetables and throughout like you really just want to make sure that you're taking care of your body because how you take care of your body will determine what type of period you're gonna have nobody wants to have a painful experience so overall i hope this was really helpful for the girls who are starting their period have questions about their period and if you have any questions just comment them down below i'm 22 years old so i've been having periods for like 12 years which is a long time um a lot of learning lessons but you know i gotta figure it out and don't think you're too bougie to be wearing cute underwear when you're on your period because everybody knows sometimes stuff happens make sure you get a pack of underwear that is specifically for your periods only just so that that can be your period underwear and just make sure you always have stuff on you pads tampons wipes painting liners 
an extra pair of underwear just have something on you at all times like if you go to school put it in your book bag if you work put it in your purse like whatever just make sure you always have something on you and you know a friend might need it too i really hope this was very very helpful and dudes if you stayed around i hope that you could have took something from this too to you know take care of your girl a little better oh also another thing make sure you get your cravings because i have cravings when i am when i'm on my period i like chocolate so i made sure like before my period started like okay let me get my craving okay guys i definitely ran out of storage just now but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this was very very helpful if you have any questions comment them down below and i will see y'all in the next video